this is a, a recognised pattern of First World War British officer private purchase trench dagger. Um, the blades can be different to this one, but in all respects, what makes it what it is, is this hand grip, which is a plastic construction. I mean, if you see a short knife with this kind of um, grip, sometimes the top will have a bit of silver with a silver ball on it. But generally, these grips are recognised to be on World War I private purchase trench knives, which I use in inverted commas. Um, the blade on this one is double-edged, hand-forged, Sheffield made. So on this side, you have the words Sheffield made. On this side, you have hand forged. Now, it doesn't matter what the blade is. I mean, in this instance, it's double edged. You can have a single edged blade. You can have a blade that has like a, a Bowie type, type um, point. But in all respects, if it has this kind of handle, then it's a recognized style of First World War British officer's private purchase trench knife. That is to say, it's not an issue piece. It's something that would be bought. So there's a wide variety of blades to this particular style of knife, but they all tend to have the same genetic um, handle. As I've said, some will have on the top a kind of silver mounted top across the top with a, a silver ball on it. Sometimes not, just a decorative piece but generally speaking that grip denotes it to be World War One private purchase and it sits quite nicely in the hand um, originally when new they would have they would have had the same genetic pattern leather scabbard which was a no-nonsense stitch leather scabbard which came to about here and it would be fitted with a simple belt loop Quite often the scabbards don't survive. If it had a scabbard, you'd be looking at 300 and something pound currently in the UK. So a nice item. World War One, British private purchase trench fighting knife.